Hey, what's up guys, Alex here. Thank you for checking this video and welcome to another episode of The Design Factory. In this video, I'm gonna finally complete the entire homepage of my new website. Considering that we're almost at the end of this page, it's pretty natural to feel confident and keep designing without caring too much about rules and balance, but we should always maintain a feeling of consistency in every section. Always look at your design like it was a scale, so if you put too many objects on the left plate, the scale will lean to the left and vice versa. If you have repeated elements, sections or blocks, try to make those blocks as similar as possible from a visual point of view. You don't have to use the same content or images, but try to occupy the same space, try to fill the same gaps and have an homogeneous result. Try to make every element unique on its own, but part of the same family. At this point of our design process, we pretty much define all the elements that we're gonna use in future pages or sections, so it's quite normal to forget to check the grid. Always respect the grid, check the alignments as much as possible, and every time you need to create indented sections or you want to experiment with narrower sections, you should always reactivate the grid and be sure that everything still fits properly in your columns. The ability to play with the content is a perk that not always happens during the design process. Most of the time we don't have control on the amount of copy, but when we do, it's where we should spend a little bit more time to make everything look more professional and thoughtfully considered. Your content is not just a placeholder for your design, it's the core and most important element you have. It's what the user will read if it feels engaged enough. Your content should be entertaining, interesting and designed as well. Create some unique style for your content and make it spotless and consistent with your brand identity. To conclude, I want to thank everyone that participated to the previous live streaming of this design process, and thanks for all your suggestions and great advice. So one other suggestion that I feel to give you is to listen to every critics. Try to avoid to show your work to someone else that could be a client or a colleague only when you think that it's complete. Sharing your process and accepting feedback when you're still thinking about solutions or structure could be really helpful and eye-opening. Always accept criticism and try to never feel frustrated or angry if someone else doesn't like your work. Remember that if a person doesn't like what you're doing, most of the time he or she doesn't have anything against you. And it's not a critique against your skills or yourself, it's just that for them, visually, something is odd. It's up to you to decide if you want to rethink your approach or completely ignore that external feedback, but anyway, try to listen to those feedback and try to understand the point of view of your reviewer. Share your work as much as possible, don't keep it hidden, don't close yourself in a box, but share everything. Listen to the word and show what you're doing during every stage and learn from others. You can improve a lot by opening a little bit your safe space. Don't be shy, everyone is learning, no one was born a pro and we're all beginners in some field. Thanks for watching and I talk to you in the next video.